Hello, I'm Odin, and I'm back at the Mold Life offices in Monrovia, California, and this time, I'm gonna cast my hand. So I've had a lot of fun hanging out with you, doing a bunch of different casting. You showed me how to do a box mold, we did a matrix mold, which was quite involved. You wanna do something with alginate and silicon? Do those actually mix? Yes, they do. We're gonna pour silicone into alginate, and you're gonna get a silicone copy of your hand today. I always thought that the water and the alginate would like interfere with the silicon. There's a trick to do actually where uh, once you take the hand out, we're gonna shoot air into, inside of it, shoot the moisture off the surface, pour the silicone in, because at that point the silicone is gonna stop the water from coming out because it's just gonna go up against the wall. It's just gonna cure. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, let's do this. Well, first we gotta tint the silicone. We can't just have clear old silicone like the matrix mold. It, nobody has a clear hand. I'm gonna use the Mold Life silicone tint. We have flesh, dark flesh, every primary color. You can mix certain colors to make other colors. We have them in the little balls because a little silicone pigment goes a long way. Doesn't look like much, does it? No, it does not. And we're only adding this to the activator or to the base? Actually, we're gonna add it to both. We're gonna do it to a translucent point and we're gonna add flocking. Because if you look at your hand, there's like oh. little bits of red and right. tint, things like that. So if I just did straight flesh, it's not gonna look natural. There's a three-part system, A, B, C. Activator, base, and part C, which is the plasticizer, AKA the softener. It's always good to label your containers, and when you grab a new paint stick, label your paint stick. Okay. If you cross-contaminate this early, you're, everything's you're gonna, done. yeah, it's gonna ruin your product. Part A. All right. You wanna mix that up a little bit. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna prep Mr. B. Four, five, six. You see how it's still a little translucent in there? Yeah. It will we'll add more tint to it afterwards. This is light buff locking. I personally like to use a little tongue blade. See the difference in color? Uh, yes, it's a lot lighter. You're calling this flocking. Well, it's like chopped up uh, nylon fibers. Very, very small, but when you mix it in with stuff, you can help tint. But it's also darkening up this. So where does one get flocking? Is this something I can go to the craft store and? Actually, we sell flocking here. Oh, well, okay, that's a silly question. Yeah, we, we carry flocking. We bring it in from the UK. This is the same products are used in Harry Potter movies, Lord of the Ring movies, things okay. like that. So artists over there are getting it sourced from our UK company. We're just the US. So I was considering later about making a joke with Harry Potter's boneless arm, but that's actually probably fairly accurate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now this is just red, your standard red, right? Right. You don't want to put too much red. <laughs> Watch that, ready? Okay. Here's the fun part. See it? See the, mm -hmm. the tone they just changed to? And then you thin it out, and there's little red fibers on the inside. But that looks more natural, doesn't it? Because it has more going on than just a pigment. You've, you've added the individual particles of color. We have little blood vessels and things like that. I think it's uh, almost time for uh, the alginate. We started to prepare a container to make the life cast of my hand. We didn't have a bucket big enough all on its own in the shop, so we had to cut the bottom off of one and then add it on top of another. Yes, yeah, this was great. Yeah. That's not touching the bottom, but my fingers are outstretched. Yeah, but you don't have to, the thing is you don't have to go all the way down. You know what, we should probably mark your arm. We are using alginate for the life cast. Alginate is a powder that you just mix with water and it's safe to use on your skin. At one time, dentists use it for making teeth impressions. We still put a little Vaseline on my arm because it'll release easier. We mix the powdered alginate in a two to one ratio with cold water. That way it takes the alginate a little longer to set up, although it's still pretty quick. There you go, shove it in there. I just have to hold my hand in the bucket until it solidifies. It's, it's literally to my wrist, it's not up my arm at all. <laughs> well, it's, it was your hand anyways that we wanted. I'm, I'm just kind of moving my hand around a little bit and I can feel it pull off the back of my hand. My thumb's free. Just trying to get, trying to get the fingers, there we go. It's okay, slowly. Look at that. Yeah, that looks great. All right, let's, uh, let's mix some silicones.
So it means you're not just going for all of it. Yeah, to, well, to a point, because I gotta fill the hand, and I'm gonna do a brush up there, and then what's left in there, we'll use a second layer on the brush up on the head. Oh, okay. So in case it thins out a little bit. Right, okay. But I, mostly it's just- But you're, you're, you're confident there's enough hand volume. Should be. Okay. Yeah. Because this is uh, 12 ounces, I'm doing 10, 10, and yeah, all right. 30 ounces of material. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. less than a quart here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just fingers, man. It's just fingers. <laughs> so are all these equal? No, this one's gonna be uh, uh, like seven, 7.5. Cause once they start going, they're just gonna start curing. This one gives me a little bit more working time though than that last silicone. I've been checking to make sure it actually, uh, I can stick my hand in your hand. <laughs> I believe it. I can wear his hand, people. <laughs> That's funny. And we added a little more flocking so the color mixture will match my hand better. That's pretty good. We intentionally made up more than we needed because the rest we're going to pour into the matrix mold of my face. Get some of the air bubbles out. Because it's in your fingers now? Now this doesn't make like the perfect copy of a hand, but it's gonna be pretty close. If you're making a movie where you had to chop up someone's hand for less than a hundred bucks, you can have a silicone hand. Normally you don't put silicone into silicone, but we put Don dishwashing soap in there, so. So you got a, a barrier? A release, yeah. A release, okay. And, and that's just good enough, the dishwashing soap? Yeah. Oh, cool. Because it's, uh, it's like a parafilm. Can't stress this enough to use a release agent on silicone. Right, because silicone only sticks to silicone, you'd be ruining your mold. Correct. In effect, you are taking a chance. Yeah, there is, but I smelled the soap and Josh put it on. Because the second batch will thicken a little bit, mm -hmm. and then uh, it'll just stick, you know? Oh, it'll, it'll just stick to the to this batch. Yeah. I keep brushing this first batch until it sets, making sure it stays on the walls of the mold and doesn't all run to the bottom. Then we mix up what's left and let it start to thicken up before we pour it into the face. So the original layer is tacky, which is good. So then I can add this layer in. Okay. It's thickening up a little bit, but not much. Let's see, so it goes back down. Brandon then continues to brush it up the walls of the mold until the silicone totally sets. Then we can demold them both. Oh, there we go. That's the bucket. Let's see what the hand does. We can actually maybe pull it out, but we don't want to rip the finger, so we'll check first. Sometimes you'll be able to pull out multiple copies out of these things. You want to hold the. Uh, Wow, there you go. Oh, and wow. So you have all these little details. Look at that uh, the detail that popped up in there. And then you just have, see how there was air bubbles there, but you just trim them off mm -hmm. and you have your hand. All right. Cool, huh? To be honest, I kind of, it looks pretty good. Let's see if we can run plastic in there. It's crazy how I can stick my hand inside your hand. <laughs> no joke, check this out. Yeah, I'm seeing. <laughs> I could wear your hand as a glove. So there's a lot of people that were asking me to make the doctor's hand from uh, Doctor, Doctor Who. Who. Yeah. I did that inside the chamber. That's what okay. that mold is over there. Oh, okay. I made it out of urethane rubber so that it would uh, sustain underwater. The guy put a fish tank aquarium under it so it bubbles. That's really cool. Now, what about the face? Let's see what it looks like. Remember, this was just excess silicone, so. How's that? All right, that's fun and creepy. <laughs> and since this is your face underneath, you can hold the general. Now I'm feeling like uh, a Game of Thrones prop. <laughs> this is what this is what effects artists not commonly do. Like, okay, let's fit it on there. Let's get it in. 
Wow, it really fits real well on here. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to keep them both. This is kind of weird looking at myself. Now, if you wanted to check either of these out, I'll be bringing them with me next time I go to SAC Anime. So you can actually kind of see what these weird silicon castings are like. Plus, if you want to make one for yourself, Brandon's going to give us a 15% off discount using the Mold Life US website. Just check out using my special code ODINMAKES15 to get 15% off your order of resins or silicone or whatever it is that you might need from his website. I've had a lot of fun going to Mold Life and seeing what it's like to make silicone castings and life castings. Let me know in the comments if you think it's a neat idea for me to make this into the doctor's hand or if maybe there's some other inspiration for me to do something with these things. I've really enjoyed my visits to Mold Life and I'll probably be going back again. But I've also been somewhere else. I got to go out to Texas to the Dallas Makerspace. Max Kirkland took me on a tour and we started building a droid together. I'll have that video coming up on a future Odin Makes. Hello, I'm Odin, and I'm back at Mold Life. Again! Again! <laughs> it's literally Algernon in my opinion. <laughs> I must, when I was mixing it, I must right. have... Yeah, oh, it, yeah. Oh, I like this. He's reading the instructions. <laughs> this is the official representative for Mold Life in U.S., and he's reading the instructions on the package. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. I was just going to point at you. Oh, okay. Oh, that's all you're going to do. Right, 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 <laughs> yeah. right. I'd like to personally thank Brandon Gilbo of Gilbo Effects and all of my Patreon supporters. You guys really do make this show possible. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. Have an idea for something for me to make? Please leave a comment below. And if you make any of these projects, you can send me a picture.